Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you for coming to listen to our session. Uh, I'm Shun Yoshi, uh, AWS Security Hero, uh, Security Consultant. And uh, he is uh, Hirokazu Yoshida, and uh, he is Keisuke Usuda. Hi. Uh, we are co member of Japan AWS User Group Security Branch, as uh, known as uh, Security Jaws. Uh, nice to meet you. Uh, title uh, is uh, How Organizations Are Actually Applying AWS Security Best Practices. Uh, if, if you'd like, uh, please let us uh, introduce to our committee. Uh, as you can see, uh, we don't pretend to be good at English, so uh, if you have uh, any difficulty uh, hearing something, uh, please ask us uh, after the session. Okay, let's go. Uh, in this uh, writing talk, uh, we will share uh, our findings and uh, takeaways on AWS security best practices in Japan. In addition, uh, we'd like to uh, touch uh, on Korea in our discussion. As background for uh, this research, uh, AWS uh, publishes many security best of practices. Uh, but uh, we often hear from uh, customers uh, asking for security best of practices when implementing a business uh, workload on AWS. Uh, participants will be uh, able to compare the uh, results of this Japanese survey uh, with your own country's mm. AWS security implementation status. Then uh, you can learn how they set their security baseline and uh, think about future measures. Uh, next uh, is a report summary. Uh, we published the survey online on SNS and uh, seminars and uh, events. Of course, uh, we also announced it at our meetup. Uh, survey participants uh, were rewarded with anonymized raw data from their survey response. Okay, uh, this survey is uh, open to anyone in Japan who is uh, somehow uh, involved in their company's use of AWS as a part of their work. The following year, uh, we conducted a similar uh, survey in South Korea. Uh, we don't uh, conduct a selection based on industry, job type, uh, title, or company size, or employment type. The, the uh, results uh, obtained using a Google Form uh, output in several graphs by company size, year of AWS experience, uh, roles, and et cetera. Uh, many people uh, cooperated with our research. Okay, uh, we, an uh, we analyzed uh, many questions from various uh, angles and uh, combined our insights into a recommendation in a, a 130 pages report. Next is a summary and the results. Uh, we ask uh, what official AWS documents do you refer to when designing and uh, configuring your AWS environment? Uh, we believe that the uh, documents uh, reference when uh, designing and uh, building AWS change based on the experience of the individual user uh, rather than the size of the business or industry. So we conducted an analysis uh, based on the number of years of experience with AWS. As a result, uh, document uh, one to four uh, were mainly a reference, and uh, usage increased uh, according to the number of years of uh, experience with AWS. In particular, uh, the results showed the 100% uh, of experience user with 10 years or more were using the AWS well architected documents. Additionally, uh, some people say that the official document was uh, difficult to read, so they uh, re rely on technical blogs and books. Okay. The next is question. Oh, sorry. Next is uh, in your role within the organization who kept it up uh, with AWS security best practices. As a result. Uh, in the uh, financial industry, the security department play a uh, central role in 
catching up on best practices, but uh, other departments are also involved. In other industries, uh, we observed a trend in which developmental divisions that uh, directly uh, operate AWS are catching up on best practices. Now I will pass the button to Hirokazu-san. Thank you, Shun-san. Hi, I'm Hirokazu. I'm a founder of Security Jaws. I'm a board of director and security engineer at Cloud Native Incorporated. Let's go. <coughs> this is the result of the question, do you continue risk assessment? Risk assessment is hard work. In Japan, huh? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. In Japan, 60% of users continue this. This result was better than expected. Small organizations don't do it much. But there is no change in the trend by size above that. A similar trend was seen in Korea too. Next slide. This is a result of how to access the AWS environment. In Japan, most companies use MFA or MFA and switch roles. About 20 to 13 percent use SSO or access key, and CI/CD is not common. In Korea, about the same number of companies use MFA as in Japan, but only about 20 percent of companies in Korea use switch roles. I was surprised that 18 percent of big company in Japan with over 5,000 people only use IDs and passwords. This is clearly lower than the usual trend, so I strongly recommend fixing this. Next slide. This is a result of what is being done for infrastructure protection. The first half is mainly about what can be done using AWS features. The implementation rate for most features is high. However, the use of AWS Shield Advanced is low. Let me ask, is there anyone here who use AWS Shield Advanced? Ooh. Oh, oh, thank you, oh, good. <laughs> Next slide. The second half of the survey covers what can be done to protect the inside of EC2 instances. From these results, we can see that for AWS users, infrastructure protection is mainly done using AWS features for the AWS environment. It does not go inside the EC2 instances. However, in the shared responsibility model, users are responsible for securing the inside of EC2 instances. Please keep this in mind. We saw the same trend in Korea. I will now pass the baton to Usuda-san. Thank you, Hiroko-san. Hi, my name is Keisuke Usuda. I'm an AWS security hero in Japan. I will be explaining the survey results from the later half, including topics such as control and data handling. This analysis shows how AWS users implement preventive control. We examined the usage of AWS Match Account Management Services, such as AWS Organizations and AWS Control Tower, the implementation status of IAC, and data at rest. The results showed correlation based on company size. Overall, the adoption of AWS organizations was higher than I expected, with about half of the companies utilizing it. Control tower adoption was relatively low at that time. Okay, next. This is um, the detective controls. We examined the usage of services that detect security threats, such as Amazon Guard Duty. The results showed that the overall adoption rate was relatively high, except for small company size. 
Particularly, for Amazon Guard Duty, the adoption rate exceeded 86% among companies with 300 to eight, oh, sorry, uh, 500 employees, which made me so happy. However, I consistently recommended that all AWS users should utilize Amazon Guard Duty across all AWS accounts and all regions. The result reinforced me belief that there is still a significant need to promote and expand the adoption, the adoption of God duty. By the way, I'd like to ask you all a question here. Please raise your hand um, to answer. Is God, Amazon God duty enabled in your account? Please raise your hand. Oh, that's great. Thank you. Oh. Sorry, please wait. Oh. Please join me in spreading the word about using God's duty. Yeah. Let's go back this slide. The usage rate of AWS Security Hub and IAM Access Analyzer are low, um, about 20 to 30%. So all companies need to utilize these services more. Next slide. This is a result of tools for analysis cloud trade logs. The tool selection often varies by individual, so we grouped the result by the respondent's years of experience. We found that more experienced used tend to use more type of tools. The most common case were using Amazon Athena to run queries or relaying on guard duty for analysis. Next. This is a final analysis on this presentation. We asked about the method companies use when disposing of highly sensitive data from AWS. It's surprising that a significant promotion of uh, response answered that they delete the data without encryption. For disposing of sensitive data, it's possible to use the cryptographic erase CE with KMS on AWS. Cryptographic erase is also included in NIST SP800-88. As an AWS user, you must secure security dispose of data to fulfill your accountability to your customers. The okay, next agenda. Each core member will share their considerations and provide a cons conclusion. In my opinion, these results reveal the challenge in using best practice. The difficult ones are not being implemented by everyone. On the other hand, while the adoption rate of Amazon Guard Duty was relatively high, I will continue to evangelize its use we reach 100% adoption. I will now pass the baton to Hiroka-san. Thank you, Usuda-san. Now, uh, now I will talk about the comparison uh, between Japan and Korea, and what we la can learn from the trend in Korea. In Korea, specific teams are working to catch up with AWS security best practices. Also, Korea con conduct risk assessment at a rate similar to Japan. However, Korean companies tend to continue risk assessment for all production and non-production environment more than uh, more often in Japan. This suggests that Korean companies have strong organizational control in some areas. Despite this, many Korean AWS users still use AWS like an on-premise system. Many companies using, still, uh, using AWS still treat it like an on-premise system. They do not use the helpful security features 
that AWS provides, such as Amazon Guard Duty and AWS Security Hub. I suggest, suggest that these companies change their rules to include these valuable AWS security features. By doing this, companies will, will use more of AWS excellent security tools. Adding these tools to the company's plan will make it easier for workers to use them. I'll let Shun-san speak at the end. OK, uh, I speak last. Uh, in my opinion, uh, although uh, I don't know the uh, actual situation outside of Japan, uh, I think that uh, AWS CAF, CAF, and uh, AWS control, uh, Cloud Trail Lake uh, not used much in Japan, uh, even by security uh, personnel. Uh, I thought the services that don't uh, require uh, much uh, replacement from existing services and uh, documents that are delayed in updating uh, may not be used overseas. Conclusion. The uh, results uh, clearly uh, show uh, uh, shows the gap uh, between the uh, pa uh, practices that were uh, implemented and uh, those that were not, uh, depending on the uh, difficulty level of the best practices. Uh, if you feel that uh, your company is uh, lagging behind the implementation compared to these results, uh, use uh, this report uh, to uh, convince the uh, management to take action. Uh, you can see the uh, results of the report, but in this case, uh, most of the uh, respondents in our report were mid-sized companies. Uh, I think uh, everyone should emulate the right footwork of mid-sized companies. Uh, if there is uh, anyone in your company uh, who, uh, who would like to uh, obtain and uh, analyze a similar survey, uh, we will uh, share the survey form with you. Uh, we will uh, also cooperate with the investigation. Uh, we are also sharing this information with security uh, specialists at uh, AWS Japan. Uh, we would like to uh, continue uh, our company as uh, a community activity to uh, improve AWS security in Japan. Okay. And uh, uh, I introduce uh, our committee last. Okay. Uh, these uh, four members were uh, involved in creating the, uh, this report. Uh, these are a few more uh, members of the regular core members. Uh, security jobs, uh, which began uh, oper uh, operations in April uh, 2016, uh, allows uh, people involved in AWS security in uh, various fields to share information on how they uh, use AWS to uh, further improve its security. A uh, speaker will include not uh, only security specialists, but also uh, people involved in security in uh, business department and uh, security vendors. In addition, uh, to regular meetup, uh, we also hold a uh, workshop and uh, other training and uh, uh, currently more than uh, 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 4,300 uh, people are particip uh, participating in the committee. Uh, in recognition of our achievements in creating this report and uh, our regular committee activities, uh, we were award the APJ uh, user group of the year at the uh, APJ Community Leaders Summit 23 uh, held last year. Uh, we will continue to uh, carry out this activity. Okay, uh, thank you. Uh, uh, thank you for listening to uh, the end. Uh, the report can be uh, obtained from this QR code, uh, the Security Jaws top page. Uh, if you have uh, any question, uh, feel free to ask us uh, or contact on us uh, on LinkedIn. Thank you.